In this series, I'm taking a look at all the Opto22 node packages for Node-RED. Specifically, this video is going to be focused on the Node-RED contrib Groove nodes for GrooveView. I'll go over both the read and write, briefly go over how they're configured, and show a couple of examples of how they can be used. Let's dive in. So you'll see here on this flow, I do have some read examples as well as some write examples. These are all set up with tags and a data store that's already configured. And if you're not sure how to configure the credentials for this Groove project or set up the data store, we have another video that covers that configuration that'll be linked in the description below. So here I do have my local host configured with an API key. I do have it set up to look at the Node-RED data store that we'll see in just a moment. And I'm going to read in the tag value as well as status, table, flag, and I will set a counter. So let's take a look at all of that over in GrooveView. You can see here I have a page with everything set up. And if I switch over to build mode, we can come down to the configure devices and tags and we see my Node-RED data store device. And here are all the tags I have. So they're all lowercase and they're simply called counter, flag, status, a table of four elements, and a value that is this floating point number at the top here. So let's take a look at the flow and groove view side by side so that we can start seeing this data in real time. So here we go. We've got the all the tags here and node right on the left. So if I were to inject and read this value at the top here, I do get 5.9. It's rounded to 5.91 over here in Groove View, and we get the full value over in Node Red. If I were to change that either through the browser or through the front display on the Groove Epic, we can see it's updated. And now when I inject, yep, 3.33, I get the updated value. So very trivial to read in uh, these analog values. We can also read in strings quite simply. If I inject and we read in the status, we'll get hello world. If I change that to just hi there and click OK, when I inject again, right away we get the updated value. We can also overwrite this because it's a string. So let's just inject here. So we can inject into our node, set the status, and we'll, we will be setting it on message.payload. So all you have to do is in your inject node, simply add a property that puts on whatever you're looking for, in this case payload, and put in a string. So Hi, Groove. And we're saying that from Node Red. When we deploy and inject this, here we go, it gets updated to Hi, Groove. So it's easy to both read and write these values. And it can also handle tables. So I have this table that is a table of strings with four elements in it, zero through three. If I check this out, we have our data store configured, the tag name, we can choose where we start and how many values to get. So if we start at zero and we get all four, uh, we will get this is a test from elements zero through three. And when I click done and inject here, there we go, we get the full array starting at zero, all four elements. If we wanted just is a, we would simply start at one and only get two elements. So starting at element one and getting two in a row. So I'll just deploy this and when I inject, there we go, I just get the parts of the table that I want. So very simple to use these read nodes as well as basic writes. We can also do Booleans. So for example, I have this flag here that's just sort of an LED gadget. And right now it's off, but if I change this to be true and inject this now, we'll see it's written, the flag is on. I can also see it on my front display and I can toggle it to false as well. And there we go, the light goes off both on the front display and here in my browser. So it's all very well interconnected. The other thing you can do specifically with Node Red is have things be a bit more dynamic. You can calculate the values you want to write uh, in some other part of the flow and then hand them in over whatever property you want to use. So here I'm injecting absolutely nothing. I'm just setting off this function node. And then all I'm doing is getting a saved value called count or initializing it as zero if it hasn't been created yet. I increment it by one and make sure I save that in the inter internal storage of this node, this node's context, and I output it over here to this counter. So it's just gonna be stepping up this counter, incrementing it by one every time I inject. And so here, if I inject, will increase, and it's gone down to zero because it was just created. If I inject again, it goes up to one, 
inject again, two, and so on. So you're easily able to get your flow your values from anywhere in Node-RED. This could be from API calls or from reading something in or set by MQTT or calculated in some kind of fashion like a function node. The point is, is that once you get it into Node-RED, it's very simple to write it into your Groove view tags so that you can view them in a nice convenient HMI either in your browser or on the front display of the Groove Epic. If you have any questions about this or want to learn more, we'll have links in the description for our developer site, our forums at forums.opto22.com, and you can check out our other videos that go over all the nodes and configurations. Hope you found this helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.